joining us to talk more about this is Dan McLaughlin. Dan. Hello. Hello. Has there been any, any controversy surrounding the new Trick Squad? There has been indeed, because with the new Trick Squad, although it sounds new, mm. it's actually been um, part of the Great Manchester Police before. It's already been there um, as well. And the controversy is people want police officers on the streets, they don't necessarily want them um, in the offices. Um, the Greater Manchester Police's Police Federation, which is like the union for it, said we are Greater Manchester Police at the end of the day. New recru recruits are being put in offices and not on the streets. Mm. And even some former detectives, they said they won't go back for all the tea in China. <laughs> because they feel it, uh, it won't interest them because they won't have the same power, the same yeah. responsibility as they've had before. Um, and like I said, there's already been a squad there for him. And um, Tony Lloyd has said that to bring in these officers, he's going to have to increase um, council tax. Um, that's not right. Which is not always a pleasant thing. And he, he said in these public consultation meetings, the one that took place in Salford, that he wants more police on the street. Well, he's not doing anything about it. Um, he's, the public wants it. And it's the PCC actually listening to them. He said he wants them on the beat, wants more police presence, but then again, he's bringing in old officers that's not so on the street. It's kind of the object of what he's talking about. Then. Exactly, yeah. Right. Um, could the new trick squad then be a success, having, you know, having you, you already talked about all the, the backlash that it's kind of faced? Could it, it, could it be a success? I feel it, it could because um, recently we've had the case with Cyril Smith, the former Lib Dem mm. MP, who's um, had the allegations of um, child abuse. And um, that's an old case, investigated. Mm. Uh, and I feel the old cases do need to be reinvestigated. And um, the new Twitch squad fits into that perfectly. And because of that, Tony Lloyd has um, placed child protect protection issues on the top of his agenda. And he's also said that each homicide costs about £1 million to investigate. Mm. That's a lot of money. This yeah. new Twitch squad is costing £100,000 to set up. And is that public spending money, or what? What money? Where's that money coming from? That's obviously coming from the public. Um, in the, um, it, it takes about forty-two thousand pounds to um, hire a police officer for a year. Mm -hmm. So you, with the hundred thousand pounds, you're only getting two police officers a year. So are you confident that the PCC's reputation is going to grow with this, or do you think it's going to really, you know, have a a consequence and stuff quite See, a with the, the PCC reputation has not been that great from the start out. The turnout in Salford to vote for the PCC was 11%. That's the lowest since w World War II. <laughs> and, um, but the thing is, these public consultation meetings Tony Lloyd is doing is putting a face to the name. People will find out who he is because 11% don't know who he is. Right. Okay, well, thank you very much, Dan. Thank you very okay. much.